Oakland, a newlywed with so many deep connections to the community and a band about to make it big. His life, of course, cut short in a tragic accident. 4029's Daniel Armbruster is live for us tonight outside of Craig's Memorial Service in Rogers. And Daniel, that's set to start in about 45 minutes. That's right, Kelly, and a steady stream of people have been coming in to the parking lot here at Cross Church. It's starting to fill up. Uh, been coming in for about half an hour or so, and it's starting to pick up even more. In fact, uh, uh, they tell us that they're expecting several hundred people tonight. They can fit up to 2,400 people in their auditorium, and they're all here to remember Craig Strickland. And let's tell you a little bit about his life. Uh, you kind of summed it up right there. He was part of Back Road Anthem and that band on their way, uh, rising stars there themselves and his life cut short. But Craig was a graduate of Alma High School. He went on uh, to the University of Arkansas and he earned a marketing degree there. And he was best known though as the vocalist uh, for the popular country band Back Road Anthem. Now he also worked for the Arkansas CW as the CW star. And uh, Strickland also, many people say that he had an outgoing personality. In fact, many of those who worked with him, Kelly, I know you did, you say he knew how to work a crowd and he could also make you feel as if he was just talking directly to you. And of course, the past few weeks, obviously very emotional for those who knew Craig personally, including his wife, Helen Strickland. Now she has stayed very strong throughout this entire process, according to those who are very close with the family. And you know, she told 4029 not too long ago that it was the support from the community that has helped her cope through this tough time. Every time I look at my phone and there's a post from some random person that I've never met before that says, hey, you don't know me, but I'm praying for you. I've read this, I, my heart goes out to you and I hurt for you. It's almost like I don't have to hurt on my own. And Helen Strickland recently described the last moment that she saw her husband. It was right before he left for that duck hunting trip where he was killed. I mean, we laid on the couch and I rubbed his chest and we talked and we talked about Harry Potter because I love Harry Potter and, you know, joked and he walked out the door and he looked at me and he said, I love you. And he gave, blew me a kiss and said, I'll talk to you soon. And he walked out and, you know, I would never, I wouldn't change anything about that. And I All right. Well, Helen Strickland is uh, going to be in attendance tonight, of course, here at Cross Church in Rogers. She will be seated with Craig's family. We're going to continue to have team coverage throughout the night here from Cross Church in Rogers. But for now, Daniel Brewster, 4029 News. Got to admire that strength. I think it's helping other people deal with this, too.